Now, um, one of the things that I did uh, in, um, in looking through these papers was I, I, I began to learn about, um, about Pamanen and William Penn and about the Tree of Peace. And so, some years ago, I was asked to speak before the United Nations in Washington, in uh, New York City, and it was kind of a humbling experience. I was pretty intimidated, but I had this opportunity, and I thought to myself, well, I should make a good faith effort. And so I went first to the um, Grand Council, and I asked them, uh, 50 chiefs and clan mothers, and I asked them if they might become my counselors and help me to write this. And so we told, they, they agreed to do that, they became my teachers, and I began to put together um, uh, a story to tell the United Nations about American Indian peacekeeping traditions. And the elders recommended that, first they said, no, let's ask that they create, that everybody, all the people of peace on earth plant a million trees. And then they got fired up and excited, and they said, no, let's do 100 million. Before the night was out, they said, let's get them to plant a billion trees all around the world. And I thought, oh my gosh. Well, I went there, and I gave my talk, and I made the proposal that we plant, that we call for all the people of peace on earth to plant a billion trees. <coughs> people might criticize us, but no one, no one would say we thought small. <laughs> Well, in 25 years, over 100, 200 million trees, in fact, have been planted. And we just heard from the government of India that they have committed to plant 100 million trees as symbols of peace in their country. That brings us to 300 million trees, which brings us to the question of the 700 million trees we have to go, and that's where you come in. <laughs> We're going to pass this around, and uh, uh, you might want to join the Tree of Peace Society and begin planting trees as symbols of peace. I asked myself what I could do to help Native people, and one of the things we did was we decided we would honor the artists. That helping the artists was one of the things that everywhere we went in Indian country, we found poverty and despair, but we also found tremendous artistic talent. And so we began to write and record and publish, my wife and I, um, a series, kind of an encyclopedia of American Indian art history. And this is our volume seven. This is 1,600 Hopi Kachina carvers. Um, so far to date, we have recorded over 10,000 Native artists' biographical profiles. And uh, two more volumes will come out this year. By the time we get done with our our contribution, we estimate, we will have uh, recorded uh, 20 volumes in this encyclopedia and recorded over 30,000 Native artists' biographical profiles as a free nonprofit service. Now that I have almost no time left, I'm going to tell you the entire history and culture of the Lenny Lenape people, beginning with creation, and I'm going to tell you a hundred generations before the coming of Europeans, and just bear with me for another four or five months, and I'll get through the story. But it's an incredible story. It's one of the greatest stories on earth. And if you bear with me, just maybe another five minutes. I'm just going to give you a feel for it, just a little sense of how rich and wonderful this story is. <laughs> 